Section 6.4, working with Taylor series. Now, working with Taylor series, this is the first definition we run across, the binomial series. This says for any real number r, the Maclaurin series for f of x equaling x plus 1 to the r is the binomial series. It converges to f for x less than 1, the absolute value of x less than 1. So then here it is, and it says, and we write... So here's the series down here. Now notice the setup here. This x to the n is the reason why this thing has to be less than 1, because this is, in a sense, similar to a geometric series with that x to the n. So what we're going to investigate a little more is what is this r over n in parentheses? That means r is choose n. r choose n. Now, R choose N means this formula down below here. So that's what it means when I say R choose N, and actually what it's equal to. So, for instance, if we picked uh, R to be 3, and we picked uh, N to be 2, then 3 choose 2 would be 3 factorial over 2 factorial. Oops, times 3 minus 2 factorial. So we're just following this formula here. Um, and that's where r to the n comes from, um, r over n comes from, or r choose n. So this would actually be, come out to this, so 3 times 2 times 1, oops, excuse me. And then the 2s would cancel, the 1s are just 1s. So I end up with, three for this one. So now you can kind of get an idea of how it works. So now with this uh, series here, it's a little bit different. It's an expansion of that. So then what that would mean is, if I just dealt with the coefficient in front, the r choose n, I would get now, I'm only going to show a few of these. So I did r choose 0, r choose 1, r choose 2, and r choose 3, and it keeps you going. So what is r choose 0? So if I look at my formula off to the left here, that means it's going to be r factorial over 0 factorial times r minus 0 factorial. Now I'm just going to continue with the other ones just to show you what it looks like together. So here they are. So now if I continue simplifying here, this top one here is going to be r factorial over 1. Um, 0 factorial is 1. And then r factorial on the bottom. What happens there? Those are going to cancel. And look what I get for that first term. It's a 1. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. So notice this, this is going to be r factorial over 1 factorial, which is 1. So I'm going to end up with an r minus 1 factorial. And if you think about the top, that's going to be r times r minus 1 factorial. So that all cancels, and I'm left with just an r. And that's what we see here for the second one. Okay, now if I continue this process, r minus 2 now. Now look at here, that r minus 2 is going to cancel with two of those, and I'm going to have an r times an r minus 1 left over 2 factorial. And then when I write that here, that's going to be r times r minus 1 over 2 factorial. And then if you look at that term, that's why we're seeing this expanded as in this way. And I went one more just so you can really see the pattern here. So that's going to cancel with the... Um, factorial, our factorial part, and that's going to be r times r minus 1 times r minus 2 uh, over 3 factorial. And that's what we'll continue to see for this. So now think about the number of terms that was. So this is going to be r times r minus 1 times r minus 2 here over 3 factorial. So now when we generalize this, you can see here I did the other one as well. And if you notice what's happening here, let's say I deal with, uh, this is my first one here is n equals 0. This is my n equals 1. And this is my n equals 2. 
And notice for the n equals 2 here, it's lopping off the r minus 2 factorial from that. And then I'm going to have the um, r minus 1 on top, and then the r. And that's what we're seeing there. So that's where this formula comes in. So since this was my 2, it's lopping off the r minus 2 down. And then I'm going to have r and r minus 1. And that's what we see up here. That's what's left in my general formula. So as I go to n, I'm going to have n plus 1 left. And I'm subtracting off all the way to r. So that's where this formula comes from. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to use this idea now, now that we have it. And uh, we're just going to have a little bit more fun with these Taylor series because that's all we're dealing with here. So that'll be in the next video.